it's over. You're leaving us already, are you, Adol? I've been doing a lot of thinking, and you know what I've concluded? Chester gave his life to save all of Felgana. I'm convinced that that was his goal from the very start. So rather than grieving for his death, I choose to celebrate what he accomplished in life. He will be remembered. Mayor! I think the best thing we can do right now is focus on getting everyone to work together to build a better Felgana. That's how I'll repay my debt to Chester. In any case, Adol, you must come back to see us again. And I promise, by the time you do, I'll have turned Redmont into a world-class metropolitan utopia. I haven't seen Elena in several days. I know just how she feels, though. I was the same way when, well, you know. No need to worry. She's got an iron will. Not even the worst pain in the world can break somebody like her. She'll bounce back for sure. All she needs right now is time. And then she'll be good as new. I think you're right, but still, the sooner the better. I hate to see a sweet, lovely young lady like her in such agony. you to stay a little longer. Come on now, you're gonna make him feel guilty about leaving. Well, he'll be missed. It'll be lonely around here without him for sure. I know. Maybe you can stay here and Dogie can go off on some grand adventure in your place. Oh, ma'ams. Why you gotta bust my walls like that? Uh, I'm just teasing. Adol, I sincerely hope I have a chance to see you again. You'll always be welcome in Redmond. 
And if you do come back, I'll make you one hell of a feast to celebrate! So, Adol, you're leaving us then. We are all greatly in your debt. Thank you for everything you've done. What about you, Master? What are you gonna do now? Planning to go back to your cabin up in the mountains? No. Now that Count Maguire has reformed, I see no further need to live the life of a hermit. And with the monsters gone, I'm left adrift in this world. A man without a purpose. Oh, come now, Master. You're no such thing. No, I am. My job here is done. All I'm qualified for is mercenary work, and that's out of the question. Honestly, I think I'm just going to relax now. Relax and mourn the loss of a dear pupil, of course. I see it as retirement. Living out the rest of my days here, helping to rebuild. I actually look forward to it. Ah, good morning, Adol. Awfully early start today. You going somewhere? Oh, so you're leaving. It's probably bad form to be asking you this now, but have you considered staying here with us? Everyone in town already thinks of you as one of their own. I'm sure they'd all be thrilled. You're wasting your breath, old man. He wouldn't know what to do with himself if there were no more grand adventures in his life. The thrill of new lands is what keeps him going. Yes, I believe I understand. I think we've just grown attached to you, Adol, but you needn't mind us. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, after all. Take care in your travels, and be sure you come visit. Yes, this is goodbye. If I go with you all the way to the dock, I know I won't be able to keep myself from getting on that boat. But like I mentioned yesterday, I think I really need to stay here and help rebuild. The monsters are gone, but the quarry's still in bad shape, and there's a lot of damage to repair. Don't think we should leave Valestine Castle in its current state either. So I'm gonna stay here for a bit and help my homeland get back on its feet. I think that's what Chester would have wanted too. You though, you need to continue your journey and give everyone something to dream about. No need for the puppy dog eyes, man. If you stay in one place long enough, you know I'll catch up to you. We'll meet again, partner. I promise you that. Adol was reassured 
and bid Dogi a fond, albeit temporary, farewell. You were right, Chester. I have to be brave. Elena? Dogi, where's that all? <laughs> you just missed him. He was headed toward the pier, so you might catch up with him if you run. Okay. Hey, watch your step along the way if you're planning to chase after him. The monsters may be gone, but that doesn't mean there aren't still cliffs and jagged rocks and stuff. I will. Thank you, Dogi. <laughs> Go for it, Elena. Confused. But I knew that I'd always regret it if I let you leave without saying goodbye. So I had to see you. I just want to say thank you so much for everything. Because of you, I believe that Chester's finally at peace. And in the end, he saved everyone. All of Felgana. He told me I have to go on living, and I will. I believe he had no regrets. Thinking about him still hurts. But I believe that everything he did, misguided though it may have been, was to protect me. Me, and all the other people he loved here. That's why I have to be strong. I have to stand on my own. So I can protect the people and the home I love. Just like he did. And I swear that I will. Right here, on this spot, I pledge my oath to him. There's so much more I wanted to say to you. But I'll have another opportunity to say it. Eventually. You'll be back. I just know you will. And once I fulfilled my oath, I hope to see you again and tell you all about it. Adol nodded firmly. I'll be looking forward to that day. Goodbye, Adol. I'm... I'm really glad I met you. <laughs> 